mentioned Lady Rothschild's breeding operation, of course, a big day potentially Saturday week, uh, uh, Sunday week, I should say, in the, in the Pretty Light Tree up with Nathaniel. Are you happy with this progress? Yeah, yeah, it's all fine. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a tremendous race this year. I think the quality of the field is exceptional, so I'm looking forward to a fantastic Arc de Triomphe. And you were saying that the Irish Champion Stakes was the stepping stone towards the Arc. Has the anticipated progression materialised? Oh, yeah, and no, I was pleased with his work on Tuesday, and, uh, and I think from that point of view, yes. Um, um, you know, he ran inside, uh, both the first two ran in well inside the track record at, uh, at Leopard Sound, the Irish champion. So it was a smart race, and he's, you know, he's done nothing but run great races all year. And obviously Longchamp's a track which turns a lot. It's a, an unusual track in its configuration. Do you think he'll he'll cope with it OK? Oh, I think he'll like it, yeah. I yeah. think so, yeah, no, he really will. He's... Uh, He's got a lot of tactical speed, this horse. He's not like some fellow who comes on, you know, he's, he can really be handy, be what you like, back in the middle of the pack and do anything. So he's, he's, he's a versatile horse. Aren't we overplaying this notion that he, that he needs soft ground to be at his best? No, I mean, the fact that he can break, go inside the exactly. track record on good to firm at, uh, at, at Leopardstown indicates to me he can go on anything. Yeah. Uh, I think he's one of those horses who goes like, through soft ground like it isn't there, whereas other horses struggle in it. But he'd also go on good, and he, was, he ran well in the champion stakes last year. You know, he was from a bad draw, he had to use him, and he's only beaten about three and a half lengths, and that was on fast ground, so he's, you know, he can go on anything. You're extremely well represented through the remainder of this fixture, though um, not in the Cambridgeshire for a change. No, I didn't have one. I had one horse, but he didn't come up to it, and you've got to have the right type for yeah. that race, you know. We've, we've been lucky in it three times or so, and uh, it's a bit, it takes a bit of winning. We were unlucky last year, along with Frankie. We got yeah. shut in and off no pace. It was a bit of a messy one last yeah, year. Yeah, sorry. You've had, you've had your share of luck in the race down the years, but it's good. You've got good representation in the Group 1, um, elusive Kate in what looks a very deep sun chariot. Fabulous race, isn't it? I think it's about the best group one around for a time, you know, and you've got Beauty Parlour trained in this country now. She's there, and I think it's an exceptionally high-class field. She's run well this year, second, won the Rothschild, and, uh, and then was... Uh, you know, third in the Jacques Le Marois against the Colts. So she's, you know, she's a tough little cookie and she's in great form. We'll see how she goes here. But as you say, it's a top draw race. How do you rate Win Silly's chance in the Phillies Mile tomorrow? Well, we, you know, the race had closed before she'd even raced before she'd even run so she's you know she's been supplemented but she's in good form she's she won well first time out and it was a not a pleasant race at uh, Ascot uh, she got taken in the middle of the track and it was messy and I like the way she finished despite being knocked over I like the way she finished and so we we've, we've taken our chance here she's a talented filly and you know the track and the ground should suit John thanks for talking to us best of luck tomorrow okay thanks